In this session, we will explore the, the importance of the single line diagram of the power system or one line diagram of the, the power system. We know that the power systems are extremely complicated electrical networks because it is spread over geographically over the very large areas. Then the most of the, the three phase, these are three phase networks that is we know that the power system is consist of generators, transformers, the transmission lines and distribution lines. And all these systems are three phase in the nature. In fact, the power systems are so complex that if you are representing the generators, transformers, transmission line and distribution network with a three phase system, it is very very difficult because the power system is very complex and it is spread over very large geographical area. And we know that a balanced three phase system is always solved as a single phase circuit composed of one of the three lines and neutral return means that is the first step towards the simplification of the analysis of the power system is that then you have to represent the three phase power system to a four phase basis because a three phase system that is a balanced system can be analyzed per phase basis. A balanced three phase system can be modeled as a single or one line that is per phase if you are representing then you can rep that is you can analyze for a three phase system because your analysis is made for per phase basis and representing per phase basis is simpler compared to three phase representation. At the same time it is very difficult to show the, the detailed circuit model of each component such as generator, transformers and transmission line is very difficult for the, the complicated network. Therefore, the network of the power system can be represented by a symbolical representation of each component that is generator, transformer, transmission line and the different components in the power system. That is the simplified diagram of an electrical system is called as one line diagram. That is if the three phase system with a detailed equivalent circuit diagram is very very complicated then you are going for the power phase basis still representing power phase basis with its equivalent diagram for each component is also still it is complicated. Then instead of that what we are going for is the symbolical representation of the, the power system then it is called as single, diagram, single line diagram. One line shows the major power system component such as generator, loads, transmission line, everything with its symbolical represents. And the components are, are joined together at a, a different buses. That is same thing once again I am uh, putting out in the different lines that is a one line diagram or a single line diagram is graphical representation of the power system per phase basis. That is one line diagram is the starting point of power system analysis. As a planner we know what is the power system, where is the generation, where you have to transmit, where you have to distribute the electrical energy, for that you have to draw the network. Then if you are drawing a three phase network with a detailed equivalent circuit diagram, it is very complicated. Instead of that, the same power system representation is made on the symbolical basis means each and every component in the power system can be represented with a, its symbols and the, the network is now it looks like a simple because you are only representing with their re symbolical representation. That is the purpose of one line diagram is to give the information about the, the system, to give the information of the system. That is, 
if you are looking into this uh, diagram that is what we are calling is it is a single line diagram you have got a, a generator here that is i will come back to you the what are the symbols you are using for the different components in the power system it is a generator and there is circuit breaker this is a bus then a transformer that is a power transformer that is step up transformer here here it is step down transformer in between these two transformer there is a link that what you are calling is the transmission line the transmission line is represented by a single line here and this is a second bus that is a bus number 2 you have got the another machine a synchronous machine and also it is connected a load here on either buses that is a bus number 1 and bus number 2 it is connected at two loads that is load a and load b this is a, a simple network it is represented by actually it is a three phase system but it is shown per phase basis but it is not shown with its detailed equivalent circuit of a each component of the, the power system but it is symbolically it is represented that is generator is represented by a circle and circuit breaker is represented by a square here the load is represented like a arrow and the transformer is represented by uh, windings that is represented by winding this is how you are representing the whole complicated network of a three phase system symbolically then this diagram is called as the single line diagram single line diagram some of the, the important points regarding this uh, single line diagrams are a line diagram is a diagram that shows the logic of an electrical circuit or system using standard symbol that is it is a diagram showing the whole power network using the standard symbols the line diagram is used to show the relationship between circuit circuits and their components but not the actual location of the component it is just a simple representation of the whole system it is not showing where the transformer is placed which place where is the geographical location of their generator where is the distribution point you are not showing all those dishes but there is a network start from the generator there is a the transmission with a step up transformer then at the distribution end there is step down transformer and loads are connected and it is fed by the other generator all those things that is it is giving the information of about the overall the power network a line diagram provides a fast easy understanding of the connections and the use of the component this just a symbolical representation and it gives the all the information about the the power system then as per the the american national standard institute that is in short it is called as ansi and also the institute of electrical and electrons engineering they have published a set of standard symbols the sum of the standard symbols what i shown here as one is the rotating machine either it may be a synchronous machine or a synchronous motor it is represented by a circle it is represented by a circle and two winding power transformer is represented by two winding and oil circuit breaker or it is also called as a liquid circuit breaker is represented by a square and the fuse is represented by a rectangular safe unit and this is the current transformer it is a used for the measurement purposes at the same time the potential transformer it is also instrumentation the transformer to measure the the voltage from high voltage to the low voltage that is scaling down the voltage from the very high voltage to a low voltage similarly very high current can be measured with a small range of the ammeter that is using the the current transformer these are the the symbolical represent of representation of the current transformer and the potential transformers then air circuit breaker a symbol is represented here at the same time a three winding power transformer is represented with a three winding these are the the standard some of the uh, symbols of the the power system component suggested by the american national standard institute that is ansi as well as 
I triple E. Then, once again, I am taking the same network of one line representation of simple power system. Then, the next step in the power system analysis is drawing the, the impedance diagram. The impedance diagram that to per phase basis. Means, the each component in the, the power network is represented by its the circuit model. Circuit model per phase basis. For example, it is a generator. The generator is represented by, we know that it is represented by a source of voltage and armature resistance and synchronous reactance. Means the generator is represented by source of voltage, the resistance and the reactance. The transformer is represented by its equivalent resistance and reactance. And transmission line for a different models that is short, medium and long transmission line, the different models are used and the based on the, the accuracy required, the line, the transmission line is represented by different models such as a simple resistance and reactance model, the, the T model and Pi model and so on. But in the complicated network of the power system, it is very large power network. Therefore, the transmission line is represented by its resistance and a reactance okay and the load is basically it is the inductive in my nature therefore it is represented by the resistance and the reactance now from the one line diagram how we are drawing the the impedance diagram impedance diagram means it is consist of both the resistance and the reactance in the each circuit model start with there is a for drawing a impedance a diagram what you consider here is the first what we need is the bus you can represent that is a bus number one and it is a bus number two the bus number two and one should have a, a reference or the neutral line that is a that is a reference or neutral line then each component will emanating from the bus what is that it is a reference line or it is a ground line or a neutral line okay first this is a bus number one for the bus number one what is the different components they are connected one is generator another one is the load therefore the re the generator is represented by source of voltage and resistance and reactance of the generator one which is start from can look into here it will start from the neutral point source of voltage resistance reactance which is connected to bus number one and the second component which is connected to the bus number one is the load the load is represented by resistance and the reactance therefore it is ra and xa which is once again start from the neutral and it is connected to the bus number one then you have to go move forward from the bus number one it is connected to transformer t1 the transformer t1 is represented in impedance model as its resistance and reactors the total equivalent resistance and reactors that is r t1 and x t1 that is this is represented by resistance and reactors the transmission line is also represented by resistance and reactance resistance and the reactance then the transformer t2 is represented by its reg equivalent resistance and the reactors its equivalent resistance and the reactors then there is a bus 2 here from bus 2 we have got two components here one is the generator 2 and the load b then first you can see the how the generator and the load they are modeled the generator is modeled once again with a resist with a source of voltage and resistance and reactance it is represented by resistance and inductance that is first generator 2 can be modeled with a voltage source and resistance and the reactance and the load b 
can be represented by RA and XB. RA and XB. This is how you have to represent the, the impedance diagram from the one line diagram. That is, this is the detailed diagram of a single line diagram. It is a symbolical representation of overall power system. This diagram, what we are using is for analysis purpose. But in the most of the power system is very, very complicated. Then the resistance compared to their reactance of the components is very, very small. That is the resistance component is very small. Therefore, the resistance component in this network is neglected so that it is only the reactants are shown. That is, for example, there is a generator and its reactants. Load is represented by its reactants or its combination of resistance and reactants. And transformer is also represented by reactants. Transmission line is also only simply represented by reactants. And similarly, transformer T2 and the reactance of the generator is represented by only its reactance. Then if you are neglecting the resistance component in the impedance diagram, then that diagram is called as it is a reactance diagram. There are three diagrams. One is single line diagram. It is symbolical representation. The impedance diagram, which is the detailed pore phase representation of each component of the power system with its equivalent circuit diagram and the reactance diagram is it is a representation of the power system per phase basis neglecting the resistance okay this is how we are uh, representing the power system for analysis purpose in the next session we will uh, deliberate on what you mean by the power system how to calculate the per rate values for of the different quantity of the, the electrical quantities.